Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers and I'm looking today at a book which is, I think, an excellent one for those involved in family law. It's this book called Family Mediation. It's now in a second edition. It's written by Lisa Parkinson, who's an expert in this field, and it's got a subtitle, Appropriate Dispute Resolution in a New Family Justice System. And that's exactly what this book gives you. Um, I personally think it's an excellent book. Um, it, it comes up with all sorts of things, starts off with very useful basic pointers on negotiation. What you've got throughout are useful uh, nut paragraph numbering, some great little footnotes at the bottom, and a really strong index at the back, which I think is very helpful to go with a bibliography and various appendices. You see the appendices there. The book runs to about just under 400 pages, and it's excellent uh, for what it is, because we are entering a new era, no question about it, with the way that we conduct these types of proceedings. Now, my wife Elizabeth and I have given this uh, review a uh, headline, The Definitive Work on Family Mediation from Jordan's Family Law, an acknowledged top authority in the field. You will see that the actual imprint is Family Law, but it's actually Jordan's Publishing who, who produced it, and I'm, I'm really very grateful to them for, for taking on the mantle of the family practitioner's titles, because we really do need this sort of help sometimes with the really difficult problems we sometimes um, encounter in the family jurisdiction. This is what we say, emanating from Family Law and Procedure in England and Wales, the first edition of this valuable book from Parkinson was published in 1997. We would agree with Lord Justice Wilson when he says uh, that he expresses a degree of pleasant surprise that the first edition was translated into five European languages. Russian, Portuguese, Italian, Spanish and Romanian, a significant indicator of the book's value and success if ever we saw one. However, as Wilson pointed out, the first edition is now seriously out of date. Once a curious peripheral outside the mainstream of the family justice system, mediation is now virtually at the core of what we know as Alternative Dispute Resolution, or ADR. The UK's new coalition government now holds that family matters are going to be, or highly likely to be, removed from the court system. This is auto-mediation, you might say, on a whether-you-like-it-or-not basis, and it's obvious that this process is continuing following government cuts. Of course, we've got 103 courts in England and Wales which are being closed during 2011, and we've got a lot of relocation taking place probably with combined court structures. Effectively, and against some opposition of course, family matters are being taken outside the court system and placed squarely in the context of mediation. How far we go because of legal aid cuts, I don't know, but it's obvious to me, from what I'm doing at the moment in my practice in mid-2011, that we are going to start having quite clear changes of direction on mediation. And there's a caveat here, because obviously there are some cases which quite clearly they're never going to mediate. It doesn't matter what you can do, you can take a horse to water, but you can't necessarily make them drink. So based on our own personal experiences, mediation so far does not necessarily work, and it must be a, you know, clear to everybody that that's the case, because warring parties too often have a stubborn tendency to remain obdurately locked into their respective positions, unless we can charm them out of it. Parkinson does of course confront this problem head on and concedes we believe that in such cases recourse to the courts is going to be the only way forward and I'm sure the Minister of Justice will take that on board. Mediation will nonetheless continue as the preferred and sometimes compulsory first port of call in family disputes prior to court appearances almost always at the insistence of judges and as Lord Justice Wilson reminds us, family mediation is far more complex and multifaceted than the uniformed observer might assume. And we will need a Vade Mecum. It will be Lisa Parkinson's book, he declares, and he's right about that. All of which means that if you are professionally involved in family mediation, or you aspire to be, you're, you seriously need the latest edition of this work. 
out now from Jordan's, of course, under this family law imprint, which, which is important to see because that is where we're moving with, with these titles. So let me conclude by saying to aid your further research, there are appendices in this book which contain ample documentation. There's a 10-page bibliography and, as I say, a very useful index at the back, which is subheaded, which I found very helpful. It's an excellent guide to understanding how family mediation can be made to work successfully as a precisely structured and, for the most part, effective means of dispute resolution in family cases. The publication date is March 2011, and under the family law publishing name of Jordan's, we do recommend it to you. And as I said before, I can't thank Jordan's enough for these works, because they do make our lives a great deal easier as practitioners. So thank you to all concerned. Bye-bye.